All right, I'm going to do another example of the side angle side construction for copying congruent triangles. If you felt comfortable with the first video and you feel like you could do this on your own, go ahead. If not, I'm going to go through this one more time. Um, and if you guys don't have enough space, feel free to use a different sheet of paper if you need to. Um, I kind of drew my triangle maybe a little bit too far below, so these are going to overlap a little bit. So I'm just going to grab um, another sheet of paper here to um, give myself some more space, but I'm going to still copy this triangle using um, side angle side. So first thing I'm going to start out with is copying a side. So just draw a line and I'm going to call one side A prime and then all you have to do to copy a side is actually measure it. So I have A in the original, just figure out which hole goes through B. Um, I'm going to say about I would say about 59 here, right below the 60. So then I'm going to come over to where I'm going to copy this and 59, make a little arc. There's my B prime. I have copied the side. Now, again, you can copy, uh, the angle has to be between the two sides. So since I copied this side, I need to either choose to copy angle A or I need to choose to copy angle B. It's up to you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy angle A. So to copy an angle, we're going to go to the original, and I'm just going to make an arc that just needs to touch both sides. And I just moved my paper. Now, whatever you use, I'm going to use 40 here. I need to come over and use the same thing on my other paper. So I used 40. So I'm just going to make an arc about the same size and maybe a little bit bigger there. That was using the 40. Now I'm going to make a mark. Move this up to you guys a little bit. Okay, um, just for a reference, I'm going to call this D and E. So I already have E prime. I need to figure out where D prime should go. So to do that, we need to measure. So I'm going to put the gold on letter E. And we're just going to move this until we figure out where it goes through D. Now, if you used a different number than I did, it would be a different value. So I'm going to say mine's about on the, actually on the 40. Now, I have that on E, so I want to put it on E prime. And mine, I said, was about 40. So go ahead and mark that. Now, this is going to be... D prime. Right now I'm just working on copying the angle. So I'm going to go ahead, when I connect A and D, I'm going to extend this past that intersection point. So right now I have copied the side AB and I have copied angle A. So we have side angle and then I'm going to copy the side AC. So that's similar to what we did um, as our first step. I'm going to put the gold piece on A, and we have to figure out which hole goes through C. This looks like it's about 68, and I'm just keeping my pencil in there, and I broke the lead, of course. Um, so 68 right here, making an arc, and this will be C prime. So now I have copied the side AC, the angle A, and then the side B. To complete my triangle, all I have to do is go ahead and connect C prime and B prime, and that will be the third side. So I've used side angle side to ensure that the original triangle and the copied triangle are congruent.